Oh, and she got the ball. Hey y'all, welcome to the Magnolia State. My name's Brandon, and this is my English Lab Willow. Each week we like to show the highlights and sometimes the lowlights of our time together. And as always, I'm definitely not a professional trainer. I like watching how other people interact with their dogs, so feel free to grab some ideas from how I train and spend my time with Willow each week. This week might seem a little boring to some, but for people who want to understand what it takes to maintain a high level of communication with your dog, this is one of those videos that I love that just shows the process. Right? Good. Good girl. Nope. Good. Willow tends to break a right heel when she's on leash because she's figured out that I always put her back on my left side after we've avoided whatever I moved her away from. I spend some time on one of our walks having her walk more on my right side until I put her back in a left heel. Yes, good. That came in handy this week because our local farmer's market started up for the year, and I love being able to take Willow to outdoor events like this. Here's Willow working on her downstay in a very distracting environment. She's keeping her focus on me and not paying any attention to all the people passing by. I'll work on better camera angles for the next one, but Willow did a great job passing by carts and strollers. And I always like to make sure she works on walking slowly behind grown-ups and children alike. Here we are working on that downstay with a bit more distance between us. And now, weaving our way through tighter spaces and more people. Events like this are about as distracting an environment as you can find to train in. Good, stay. Willow wasn't perfect on her first farmer's market of the year, but she did a great job dusting off the rust from a long winter's break. If you're interested, look up the importance of threshold training. Okay. Guys, I'm really excited about a new step Willow took in her obedience work this week. I'll let the video play out, but watch what we were able to accomplish here. Release. Willow, come. Willow, come. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, release. So I got to recall her without her collar, e-collar. Oh, and she got the ball. So she recalled without her e-collar off of a fetch, which is her favorite thing, and she found the ball. And now it's starting to rain pretty good. I am so excited about that progress. That's a big deal for a dog to do. Any time is a good time for training. And as I've said in past videos, I like having Willow around loud noises so she desensitizes to them. So I'm back on the mower and she's back on the porch holding her spot. Being around a mower and actually getting on one are two totally different things. I like pushing Willow to her limits, so after spending extra time making sure she trusted that I wouldn't put her in harm's way, I gave her a big hug to thank her for trusting me. Yeah. My wife saw me doing something kind of Ready? fun with Willow one day and told me I should record it. When I was first training Willow, I used a lot of hand signals. I still have hand signals for sit and down, but hand signals aren't something I focus on a lot with Willow but it looks like she retained the drop it hand signal. Good girl. That, <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Go. Let's head over to a little mini session I did with Willow one day this week, and I'll show you something that's been on my mind about her down command. Take a second to just observe what one of these sessions looks like without any editing. Right. No, 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 middle. Yes, stay.
Hello. Yes. Pay attention to this next part. Down. Right there is something I've been thinking about. Willow's normal down is where she puts her front paws forward. But I've seen some protection dog trainers talk about that being a lazy form of a down. And instead, the dog's back legs should go backwards. Watch again. Down. Yes. It's subtle, and I don't know if I really care about it. But I figured out that you have to take up space between you and the dog for the dog to pop back in that way. So, it's just something to think about. I do it a few more times here just to figure out how it feels. Let me know what you think in the comments. Down. Yes. Up. How about we take a break from training and just focus on how cute Willow is? I had such success early in the week with recalling Willow off a of fetch, so I wanted to try it again and see if it was a fluke. Remember, there's no e-collar, I gave her no indication I was going to do it. I did this three times this week, and she was 100%. I'm really happy. We're back at our local coffee shop, and here's what that under command looks like that I implemented a couple of months ago. Guys, it doesn't get much better than being able to take your dog with you wherever you go. If watching Willow can inspire you to spend more time with your dog, and also give you ideas about how you might like to train your dog, look, that's why I put these videos out. Yes. Subscribe if you like watching a good yes. girl do good things. Under. And I'd encourage you, don't ever be bored yes. with your dog. Uh, Spend time understand. building a relationship through training yes. for the yes. lifestyle you have. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Good.